So I thought I'd uh, show um, some ways of uh, testing uh, MOSFETs both in and out of circuit. Um, so I'll do some stuff on the bench end and I'll um, look at some other devices. So um, uh, the ones I've got to use on the bench out of circuit are um, uh, 2, 2N7000, the BUK456, 7N0307 and IRL. 3102S. Uh, so that's uh, if we can use, use my probe here. So that's the 7N, a uh, 2N7000. That's the BUK456. That's the 7N0307, and that's the IRL. Uh, they were scavenged off a motherboard, which I'll, I'll do. I'll use for in circuit testing. Okay. So first up is the um, uh, the, the 2N7000 um, uh, this is a, a, a TO92 package um, so we've got the, the, the source on the on the left we've got in, in the center we've got the gate and on the, the right we've got the uh, drain so um, just reiterating the meter setup got Two meters in diode check. Yeah. Diode check. Okay. Um, uh, the meter on the right. That's the uh, the positive lead. The two. The 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 positive of uh, the left meter and the negative of the right meter are connected together. Through a connector over here, um, leading to this little clip, and the negative of the left meter is uh, going to to that test clip. Um, on the board, I've got the the white wire, so this uh, the negative of the second meter is going to go on to there, and. Uh, the drain of uh, that union between those two meters is going there. Um, one way, an easy way to remember how to doing it is, is just imagine that meter wasn't there. I'm connecting that meter across the, the drain and source. Right. So next thing is I need something to control the gate and you can set up an electronic circuit to do that or you can, in my case, uh, with these uh, particular MOSFETs, where the, the gate thresholds are low enough, um, I can use this to s switch those on. Uh, in theory, well, I know that these two meters have a, an open circuit voltage on the diode check of, of approximately 2.7 volts. Um, with them uh, placed in series like this in a daisy chain, um, uh, the this lead relative uh, to the uh, to the uh, the source is going to be um, basically 5.4 volts. However, as soon as the, uh, the the MOSFET turns on, it's going to effectively short out um, uh, the drain and source. So the voltage on the relative voltage on this lead is going to drop down to just the one diode check. The single uh, the 2.7 volts is sufficient to turn them on, at least with the load that I'm putting, which is I actually don't know what the the, the, the amperage of the diode check is, um, but it'll be in the milliamp range. Also, might even be microamps. Well, do I want to test it? Well, I've already got the meter set up anyway. Let's carry on. All right, and the meter's telling me to hurry. Okay, so so reiterating that meter is across a, a, a drain and source and so the, it's currently measured open circuit and what I'm going to do is use this meter to hit the gate which is uh, I'll, I'll, I've got a, a 2.2 meg resistor across uh, between source and gate uh, that's to drain any charge when I take this away so that I can clearly see it switching on and off so let me hit the right lead happening. Oh, silly me. Plugged it in the wrong hole, am I? Alright, 
back to the drawing board. Okay, so hit the gate, and there we go. It drops to zero. So pretty much you're getting very low on resistance. Uh, it's one of the advantages of the offset switching is because uh, when the, when they operate, you're in the ohmic range typically. So you're going to they'll have an on resistance, and so consequently you, you're going to get very low. Uh, the voltage drop you, you're going to get is proportional to the amount of current flow. Uh, just to prove the theory, well not the theory, the, the statement about it staying on, I'll remove the 2.2 meg resistor and I'll just touch the gate and it should stay on. Yeah. So um, uh, I think it was the, the 2N7000, it's got a, a gate capacitance of about 50 picofarads. Anyway, one of them's got a gate capacitance of 50 picofarads, um, uh, uh, 2.2 megs uh, is uh, going to discharge that very quickly. Okay, and that's self-discharging now anyway, you can see, because I like to waffle, and it's reminding me that I'm waffling. Cool, so the next one on the list will be uh, the buck. Now this has got a different pinout. Uh, so I'm going to, maybe that's why I had it from home, because I had it for the buck. Um, let's just move that to the centre, take that one away, put the buck in, uh, gates on the other side, so flip it around. If I can get it in my hole, yes. Okay, uh, I'll do it without the, um, without the bleed resistor and touch it, and there we go. It needs a bit more voltage. Uh, I wonder whether using the diode will actually do anything here. So it uh, turns out that the uh, the BUK is um, does require a higher voltage, and this is the uh, the circuit that I've come up with. Um, it requires just a little bit more than just a, a diode. Um, I do have a diode, but in addition to that, I've got a what is it, one microfarad capacitor here. So um, I've replaced the put an alligator clip on top of the the uh, uh, the positive probe on the um, uh, meter, the second meter, and. Um, Essentially, what, it, what I, I'm doing is I'm, uh, I've got the, the, the negative side of that one microfarad in, uh, plugged into the source. So that effectively charges that up to the, um, the 5.4 or the 5.2 volts um, of the two meters combined. Um, and the diode uh, prevents the charge leaking back to when the, the FET switch is on. So, Zoom back out again, get both meters into shot. Um, we shall see now that uh, with this little red red lead here, um, this will drop down much lower than what it was before. Oh, the other thing I did is I replaced the um, uh, the 2.2 meg uh, resistor with a 10 meg, uh, which gives me a bit more time before that capacitor starts to discharge the one microfarad. But it now, let's see if it proved me wrong. No, you see it goes down to zero and it will stay there for a few seconds start to come back up again. There we go. So let the capacitor charge and then back down to zero. So a bit more than diode but it works. Um, next ones. Um, I'm going to dispense with the, the board and just use these directly. So, here's my test clips. Okay, that's going to the drain now. If we look at this, this particular device, I can zoom in for this, I suppose. Yeah. Yes. Do we need to see the meter? No, I suppose we do. Bring it up now with this particular device. Um, uh, this particular device, um, 
you'll see that the, the centre lead is missing, actually on both of them, both of the surface mount devices. So the, 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 the metal backing where it actually solders to the motherboard, uh, well, to your circuit board, in this case these were motherboards, but um, they're, they're real difficult to get off. You need to apply a lot of heat because you're heating up the, the plane on the, on the board. Uh, and so it turns into a bit of a hack job if uh, when you try not to melt stuff around and not get the air tool out, etc. Anyway, uh, so that is your drain. Uh, that will be your source, and that should be the gate. Uh, we shall see in a second whether that's true. Now, uh, this was going to the drain. Well, what I can do is I can use that 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 center lead, even though it's not fully full length. I, if yes, I can get it to grip good. And we hit our drain, which is now on the, on the left. And if I hit the gate, yep. So we see it goes to zero, and uh, I discharge it. Touch it again. Yep. Cool. Won't do the other one. It's not necessary. But what I will do now is some in-circuit testing. So um, uh, I'll show you on this and uh, on the TV probably. lots of MOSFETs on there. Okay, so that's by gate signal. Okay, so on this arrangement, this is my gate, this is my source, and there's my drain, and I will do the same trick. I will actually what I'll do is I'll clip on the, the source first. Yes, and then we'll get on to the, the drain in the center lead. So interestingly enough, stayed, yeah, okay. Interestingly enough, we can see that it's about 500 millivolts. Um, so this is one of the, the issues with testing it in circuit. So we sh hopefully, no switching. Oh, oh lead has fallen out. A little teacher. And if we switch the gate, yes, success. So go to go to zero and slowly coming back up again to where it was. So there's some um, MOSFET testing. Uh, I suppose to be absolutely, uh, well, more correct, uh, these MOSFETs are what's known as enhancement mode. Uh, it's very rare to get depletion mode ones. Uh, in fact, I can't recall getting one. And that's quite separate from other types of FETs, field effect transistors, uh, such as you know, insulated gate and um, JFETs and what have you. Although, in theory, MOSFETs are an insulated gate. Anyway. Okay, so uh, the grey leads is my meter A, um, the other one's meter B, meter B, meter A, the orange one, meter A. Um, so we'll be taking the reading off the, uh, the grey one here, uh, the METEX, and we'll use the TANMA for um, driving the gate. So that's the cathode, the cathode's on the drain, so that's the, that's the body diode, and that's open circuit. And the second MOSFET here, same arrangement. Get my fingers to, to stay there. It's much easier when, I, when I'm leaning over the top of it, not having to try to keep the camera anchored open. Yeah. 